Hey guys, alright, so today is going to be a makeup tutorial. I know, I know, is the sky falling? Am I literally Chicken Little himself? I know I haven't done a makeup tutorial in what feels like months upon months. It's actually probably been months, but I'm doing a fall inspired makeup tutorial today. And I kind of theme dressed, I'm sorry, with the orange shirt and the orange makeup look and the orange nails. Um, oh, and speaking about nails, instead of just doing a regular makeup tutorial, I wanted to make it up to you guys and stay tuned. At the end of this video, there's going to be a mini nail tutorial, kind of like Halloween slash fall slash the month of October inspired nails. The makeup look and the nail tutorial at the end of the video are super easy so anyone can do them. Definitely give them a try and today was actually the perfect day to do all of this because I'm going pumpkin shopping, pumpkin hunting right now um, basically to find a pumpkin. Ooh, basically to find a pumpkin to carve, but I know it's a little bit early to be doing that, but I just want to test it because on Halloween day I want my pumpkin to be really good because I like I've never done one fully by myself, but this year I think I want to do one all by myself, like just like no one helping me like cut it, no one helping me like gut it, none of that. Yeah, so I think if I end up doing it all by myself, I will film it, but only if you guys want, so definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see me take on carving a pumpkin. Hmm. Anyways, enough rambling, I hope you guys all try this look, it's very very easy as I said, and let's just get on with the tutorial. So obviously, the first thing you're going to have to do when you're doing them eyes is apply an eyeshadow base. This one by Michael Todd is one of my absolute favorites. It is very thick. It's almost like a mousse texture. So I feel like when you put powder eyeshadow on it, it like sucks it right up and it makes it stay for literally hours upon hours. Don't forget to put it right underneath because we're going to be putting some eyeshadow there too. It looks very scary right now, but don't worry about it. Now I am taking my Dare palette by Sigma and they're two other palettes. Um, oh, and we're going to be using this eyeshadow catch, but there are two other palettes. I think they're called Flare and Bare. Um, they're like different colors or whatever, and they're just different looks, like different shades or whatever. But I'm going to be applying that all over my lid. You really don't have to be neat with this at all. And then I'm just taking the head of my pink Sigma brush and blending out the crease so there's no harsh lines. Yes, see, girl? Now taking this eyeshadow by MAC, it is a matte eyeshadow called Blanc Type. As you can see, it's very, very light. It's not pure white, but it's just to brighten up the inner area around my tear duct because that red is really dragging me down. You feel me? So the next eyeshadow is called Amber Lights, and this one is also by MAC. And applying this right over the catch is going to give you that nice, like, autumn color. Do you see how pretty that is? It's just like a nice, like, not muddy color, but you know what I mean. It's just like an effortless smoky eye. So I'm going to be taking this blending brush and taking one of my ultimate, ultimate favorite browns called Brown Down by MAC and just blending that throughout the crease. Starting to look a lot like fall up in here. Hey, I feel like these colors work so well together. It's just a nice autumn inspired makeup tutorial, which this is. So that's that. <laughs> we are going to be taking more of the same eyeshadow we used on the lid called Catch from the Sigma palette um, under right along the lash line there. Um, and it looks really freaky how my eyes moving like that. But I know it looks a little bit like a tail light right now, but we are going to take this brush and just brush the excess off so we don't have such a vibrant color. And don't forget to fix your hair with the brush. <clears throat> Taking a pearly white eyeshadow, I am just applying that right up next to my brow as a brow highlight just to make it pop and to soften the edges of the brown down. Next, I am taking this eyeshadow called Vanish from the exact same palette. The gold tones to it will really just tie in the whole look of like reds and coppers and fall. <laughs> So that is all the eyeshadow you're gonna need. We are completely done with shadows. Now moving on to mascara. So don't forget to get any in your hair, just like I do, every time, please. Um, right now I'm using one of my all-time favorite mascaras. It's called MAC Zoom Fast Black Lash. It gets my lashes the blackest I've ever seen. Look how black that is. Please don't mess with me and my mascara. <laughs> now on to bronzer. I am just lightly gonna dust this over my face with a big powdery brush. Next, I am using this mineralized blush by MAC. I think it's called Dainty, I'm not sure, and just apply that to the apples of thy cheeks. For lipstick, I am gonna use two. The first one I'm gonna use is a matte lipstick called Please Me. That's actually super pink, so we're gonna have to tone that down, girl. It's autumn. High tea, I feel like, is really good for like toning down lipsticks. It's just a nice neutral, and since it's a luster, it gives a nice gloss look without actually having to wear a gloss. So this is the finished look. That is all the makeup you're going to need, and you're gorgeous! Look at you! Go on with your bad self! Now to fix up your nasty nails. <laughs> this is the look we are going to be going for, a very Halloween-y look, and this is what we are starting with. 
Only two nail polishes are needed for this look. This is the first. It's a coral. I'm going to be honest with you guys, but it's orange enough, so we're good. The next is a crackle nail polish. It's called Texture Coat by Nicole by OPI. And when I'm doing my nails with crackle, I like them all to be uneven. You know what I mean? Like some I like to be really, really thick and some I like to be thinner. It just looks better, I think, and more like aesthetically pleasing. Mm -hmm. So basically you can just see me covering the entire coat of orange and then gradually it separates. It actually starts separating way before you think it would like you look back and you're like damn that's separated honestly does anyone know what's in crackle to make it separate whoever invented that is a genius i should marry them um and you should be doing this perfectly please no mistakes <laughs> oops this is awkward so the look is now all complete i really really hope you guys enjoyed definitely let me know how you liked and until i see you guys next time stay gorgeous Mwah.